Hi guys, it's Claire at Dee Dee's Den. I'm just having a bit of a play, to be honest. Um, I've just done a little note card. Um, this one that you will see on the video previous. Um, but then, because I've literally just bought this stamp set, I decided to just have a little bit of a play and see what effects I got with which stamps. Um, so I'm just going to sort of show you little bits that I've done. Literally just sort of scraps of paper printed on just to try them out. Um, this one is done using that stamp, the outline stamp, and then, so you print that first, and then you put that over the top, but do it as a repeat stamp. I've shown you repeat stamping before. Um, re repeat stamping, I'll just do you a quick one just so you can see. Repeat stamping would be, you literally ink it first, stamp it off on a piece of paper, and then stamp it again, and that's your second colour. Now that is really faint on this one, but it does give that, I'm hoping you can see that, that pinkness in them daisies. Um, and then I use the three, there's three little uh, daisies in a row as a stamp just here. And I used all three on that one. Um, but I also did, literally on a scrap of paper, this one, and I inked each one of those little daisies separately and added them to the, the stalks. So I did those three flowers together. I've done that one on its own. I've done the stalks, but using the, the three little tiny daisies. There's a longer stalk here, this one. Can you see that? Sorry, am I out of shot? This one. And then those sort of sit in the right places to actually do sort of like the little flowers over. These ones work okay as well with that one. Um, obviously you've got your, your centres for your, for your daisy in the first place and your leaves which I showed you on the previous video. Um, but I just decided to have a little go at something and I'm just going to show you that because I think it's a good idea. I do have them occasionally. Um, a couple, actually one more before I do. Um, the thank you is actually one long stamp. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? But I've literally inked half of it and stamped and then inked the other half and stamped so that you can do that. And then you could have your thank you for your kindness. Um, that little bit there, sort of underneath. That was just literally a piece of card that I was sort of having a, a play in a, a scrub about with. So I'm just going to tuck that bit under there a sec and I'm going to show you. I'm not, because that's in the way. I need another piece of card. Scrap card. I always have scrap card handy just in case I decide to try something. So there you go. Piece of scrap. What I'm going to do is I am going to ink this pink flower. I'm very tempted to do it on a brand new card, but I'm not. I'm just going to do it this way just so as I can show you for now. So I'm doing that as a literally the first stamp from the ink pad and then using the punch that I'd um, cut these daisies out with I'd got that left because I'd cut three daisies out so there I've got a template so what I'm doing is I'm going to line that up over the flower that I've stamped I'm going to get my dobber and I'm just going to go over it. Now obviously you can go over the whole flower or you can leave your centre so that you can stamp that in yellow or orange or whatever colour you decide you want to stamp it in because obviously it depends what colour you actually done your flower in the first place. I'm then going to do my centre of my flower before I lift that because I want to show you what it comes out like. So we're going to 
centre it. Just put that one back on so I don't lose it. See how yellow it comes out first. Yeah, that's okay. So we're going to do the centre of the flower. And then I'm going to lift the stencil away. How cool does that look? I'm really liking that. Dead easy to do. Obviously you can just add more. Just keep going. If you wanted to do sort of another flower off, off scent, off centre, that don't even make sense. I'm going to try this before I do anything else. Since I said I am just trying things, I really do suggest when you get your stamp sets that you just play. Not any particular card that you're planning on making to begin with. Literally, just play with your stamp, with your, with your inks, with your stamp sets, and whatever tools you've got handy. Like I say, I mean, I'd literally just done this. This would just happen to spot this particular bit. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if that'll work. So um, you could do this with your dry, wet wipes so that you've got that. In fact, you could even use this bit as something else now if you wanted to. Um, but there you go. How pretty is that? I might even cut that out and put it on another card. Just playing. As I say, I really do think that when you get a set of stamps and your inks, just try different things. Play around with them. Obviously, you can check YouTube, you can check Pinterest, you can check all them things, Google. Um, all the things, basically, um, to find the various different sort of ideas. There's always lots of ideas on uh, Pinterest and Google for you to to use um, and get inspiration from. So I would just say play, enjoy. I'm waffling at you a little bit at the moment, so I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna say bye for now and enjoy your stamping. Bye.